So, we are back. That was an insane race that just happened, and now it is JJSRL vs. Zion64. With me is... I'm not alone. With me is Gizamaluk, the Deacon Racing Legend. How are you doing, sir? What, is, what is up? I'm doing good. It's gonna be fun to watch some SM64 once again. I'm glad you decided to join me. I'm <laughs> happy. Don't have to go alone. Yeah, for sure. And playoffs. And yeah. Fun. And uh, Drogi getting that seven second win. <laughs> Actually, that's. Um, <laughs> that was an insane finish, right? I don't know, dude. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Such yeah, a comeback. And yeah, the winner of this match is gonna face Drogi in the semifinals. So, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, okay, here we go. The run started. So, this is the second seed, JJ is second seed, versus a seventh seed. JJ definitely in the favor, also in terms of PB, got the low 49. Princess yeah, 497. A... Exactly. And Zion with a 5016. But you never know. And this is a best of one too. So, if JJ manages to have a little bit more slip ups, then. Maybe Zion will take this and advance. Yeah. We're dropping some frames from JJ, right? Yeah, okay. yeah I think it's, knows. it's looking it's better. Looking good, so, all synced up. Both on the same version as well. Here we go. Black and skip. Who can get it? Both are really great good players. Oh, we're going for the so same shot as well. Here we go, easy. <laughs> I feel like you're never really safe, even when you're a good player, you're never safe off of a uh, lucky to skip. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Interesting. JJ taking the lead, just because of some better movement. Because the camera, like, he, uh, Zion didn't move the camera around in the beginning. Yeah, I gave him a little bit of a warhawk because of that. Yeah. And now into Bomb Club. Let's see. Big bomb for both. Oh, can Zion actually save his? Nope. That's uh. Gonna have to respawn the bomb here. <laughs> Nothing to change up. He was very close though. Oh, missing it again. Sad huh. start for Zion. Come on, yeah, man. Rough. My boy. <laughs> Best out of one. It's also harsh after a long league. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Here we go. All right. That's rough though. So, uh, He's uh, uh, probably yeah, almost 30 seconds behind. 25. Like for, uh, it, um, yeah, because of the regular season, you never really have to worry about losing too much because you can still get points, right? And yeah. now it's suddenly like, if you lose, you're done for. That's it. Yeah. You're out. Right. Harsh. Very harsh. And uh, Zion going for Womp's Fortress immediately, actually, which is a little slower. Route-wise, in the castle. So, that's interesting. A whole second, so if he loses by a second... <laughs> we know why. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Just because of this routing. Right, going for a setup. Canvas. Cool setup. Yeah. Should be good. Uh, here we go. Easy. And uh, let's see which star JG does first. You think he will do Canalus first too? Uh, oh, not Alice. anymore. <laughs> Already seeing <laughs> Alice. that Owlis now. Yep. Here we go. And Owlis is done. Cool. Good. A little bit of trouble yeah. getting up. Ooh. Oh, Interesting setup for Zion. That's usually what people go for for double jump Owlis, but I don't think he go usually goes for double jump Owlis. Yeah. Still makes it I mean, happen though. Yeah. No big problems, just missing the wall kick there. And uh, spawn under coin time for JJ. Ooh. I can't recall really seeing that long jump onto the tree too much. Usually people go for like a side flip, then they go for the ring first. Ooh, and Zion going for a completely different route. Yeah, the, and these are routes you don't really see that often at top level, honestly. It's hard to say. I think in Division 2, you see a lot of routing differences. Yeah, for sure. But it's like, you don't really see it that often. 
with those. Oh, yeah. uh, especially the one that's signed as where you go for the coins in the beginning. Oh, that is true. Most people definitely go for the pro cycle that JJ opted for as well. Yeah. So like, design going for holes like cycles slower. Uh, so JJ is second rank and sign is seventh for the season. That's how I finished, and it, that's a pretty big point difference too, like 200 or something. Yeah. And uh, JD's PB is about a minute faster than... It's gonna be harsh, harsh for Zion to make up <laughs> for that. Yeah, the bomb clip, like, he lost like 25 seconds or so to bomb clip in the beginning, and that's definitely rough. JD's number two. Right, let's see here, he also goes for this full setup. No problem. Nice. Shouldn't do wild blue. When people go for like texture setup, that's when you see they mess up canless. I don't think the full setup usually gives too many fails. Yep. Honestly, game changer. Like ever since that setup was found, this game was a lot more comfortable to run. A lot more comfy. Sure. People not resetting over candlelist for three hours before leaving flops. <laughs> Pretty much. Now it's just like slightly frustrating with the texture setup that doesn't really work all the time. Okay, so Womp King. Usually an easy start for these players. But of course he misses the ground pound when I said. <laughs> just a little bit of a mistake. It didn't get squished, so he was slightly behind the Womp. Yeah. Ooh, I'm not sure if Zion is gonna still grab it. Okay, he's good. Yeah. Still spawned the star at the correct. Uh, still was at this correct spot for the star spawn. And do you think anyone will go for crazy strats like you here on the tower? Ooh, Help I'm actually the... no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that that <laughs> that strat is too way too risky. <laughs> I like to go for that, like, uh, in races I usually don't like to go for this as well because it's just so scary to go for. Yeah, for sure. And this place I was gonna say as well, a more of a, like, consistent sort of game plan. Yeah. That's JJ, by the way, is still, like, he's a Sunshine Legend as well, not just in SM64. Oh, yeah. Only in this game. The world record in the NPC? I think he still has it. I'm not 100% sure, but he had it, and I think he still got it. Yeah, I, th I think so, but I'm not really up to date with uh, Sunshine. Alright, so... Zion Which isn't too bad. <laughs> Since yeah. this is SM64, you don't need to know that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and now Zion is doing his first slide, since he... He skipped it for, uh, in the beginning. So, when JJ goes for the wing cap star, Zion has to go for another slide. So, quite Bonk. a significant lead. Definitely. It's a 14.2 because of the bonk. Not too bad. Is that a really decent bonk? Can't be mad about a small bonk there. No. He's in a huge lead. And going for safer strats here is maybe a good idea. Just, you know, just because it's the best of the one. That, I thought he was gonna bonk again, but he's good. And flying on Jay is good as well. Running all the reds without any issues, losing any time. I mean, Zen did, the... did not bonk last time, but he was JJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> not even paying attention, not even uh, realizing what's going on. Good commentator. <laughs> Doing multiple races, multiple races in a row. Of course, you're all tired. Alright, so. <clears throat> Dark World. So, we're probably going to see a Shig cycle if everything goes right here. Oh, definitely. That's the... I think everyone in the league goes for a Shig cycle always. Like, no one, none of the runners uh, go for like a normal cycle, ever. Yeah. Unless feels... they mess up, of course. Yeah, of course. But generally, like, people don't really go for faster cycles either. It's kind of risky also... to do in a race. Oh, yeah. And also go flying for Zion there on these reds. Not missing any. Ooh, that's a decent beginning for Jay. Ooh, okay. He did not bob that combo. Well, that was very close, too. Yeah, for sure. 
going for the poverty shake. Just grabbing this red coin first and then. But it's okay, that's good. It's good. Very nice. Very, very nice dog well for JJ. Let's see if Zion can match the sun dark world. Good ending, despite not getting the double first seed. Yeah, it can't be too mad. You don't necessarily no, need good. it. It's not too, it too much of a time save. No, it was good. That was an interesting jump dive. <laughs> Another... <laughs> <laughs> Another poverty shit. Okay, a little bit okay. more sketchy. <laughs> a lot later! Whoa. One that actually also bonks and dies. Wow. Wow. Well... That's something that's just... I don't know, once you mess up, you're just not ready to back it up correctly, and everything becomes so shaky. And yeah, that just rests up in the death. Messing up the cycles just slightly. Yeah, that's extremely harsh. Now JG's lead is enormous. Yeah, that's something I was talking about in the previous race, is this stage isn't too hard necessarily, but it's scary that you can die anywhere and lose so much time as well. Yeah. And this just cost him around 40 seconds, I think. Yeah, and he was all gonna get 20 seconds behind or more. Yeah, not even gonna get um, another Shik cycle now. But at least didn't die this time. Wow. This is harsh. Alright. So let's hope that he can get a good throw here and uh, try to keep up. It's really hard in speedrunning when you have this kind of beginning to keep a good mindset all the way through. This is definitely something that you need to learn, for races especially. Is because you can't just reset. It's If you reset, you're pretty much forfeited and it's over for you. Yeah, for sure. Alright. So trying to keep up the flow is hard when you do mistakes. It's just... oftentimes if you can't recover, you're just gonna mess up even more. And it's sort of a cycle. It just gets worse and worse the yeah, more you mess so, up. So let's hope that Zion can keep it up and uh, just play well, you know. Not get it get it to, to his head. I think that's what everyone thinks. Like, just play well. <laughs> that's yeah, how speedrunning I mean, works. Yeah, but I think it's like... it's just hard. <laughs> To get, you know, get to that point again after you're, you know, in that bad mindset. Oh yeah, for sure. I was just messing with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he went for the slide first. So he's gonna go for CCM 18. Oh, definitely. Not gonna bother with double pillars. Well, seen that from Drogi, and then what? Uh, oh, Super Wiper Star. Did yeah. it in the previous race. When doing the slightly smaller walking, they're just mashing A. To be safe on the wall kick. Yeah, that wall kick is hard to time correctly. And then also like getting the right angle and height on the wall kick too, to not bonk or fall down. It's yeah. also not too easy. So just going for an easier spread, I can see that, especially for a race. Yeah. For sure. Wow, the difference is huge. Three, uh, three stars. Yeah, just that death, dude. Just set him back yeah. so much. Here we go. So let's see here. He goes for... Will he save time on the star? I think he goes for the the oh, same star, yeah. Yeah, yep, same. I've seen that a lot in Division 2, actually. Like, kind of spread. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. GG now go for the 100 coin. Together with the Penguin. Scary dude. The penguin can either push you to the side and missing coins is very very easy as well. Not missing too many coins. So we might see a safety drag here and we do. Definitely smart. Side flip. <laughs> Definitely going for safe stuff here. Alright, so let's see how the penguin race goes. And something that can also happen is like the penguin just randomly fall off. I've seen it once, and I think it only happened once actually in the race. And yeah. never. <laughs> but it can happen, it's very rare. It can happen. He just slides but he's off. good. The penguin's still there, and I think after this point he can't really fall off anymore, so he should be yeah. good. He's in that area before you turn right, where he just six well, super quickly. Yeah. After the five coins. 
pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Eating a lot of lag, but <laughs> gets the star, which is kind of, kind of what matters. Yeah, Zine as well. He's gonna have to deal with the penguin too. Yep. Now JT is done with CCM and we're going for BBH. Yeah, not really anything going on in there. It's a <laughs> comfy stage, I would say. <laughs> yeah, it's comfy. But I think it's it's frustrating if you kind of miss the big boo, or you fall down, or oh something. for sure, for sure. There are definitely obstacles. Zion also going for some safe coins. He already missed one coin, so he can only miss three coins now instead of four. Yeah. Yeah, definitely good. He went for the safety red. Otherwise, he would would have needed to get every single coin in the slide. He's doing the classic slide kick. Okay, that is okay, nice as well from Zion too. I was worried he might m mess up that jump. So, a coin. We got a big one. Still be fine though. Still. Yeah. We are two coins to spare. Oh, actually one coin. And he's good. Got enough coins. No problem. World record is 4708 by my co-commentator. Do whatever. Oh. I, it kind of feels nice hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, JJ, no ledge grabbing, no offense. Good though. <laughs> I made me a little bit overreacting because he still got a huge lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're entering the wrong door though. Can he break the... Seems like he's got this though. Yeah. Yeah. It, it can it can be hard to get that because the spacing is a little bit different. You're like farther away from the boo. Yeah. So hitting it isn't as easy. But yeah, he managed that very well. Yeah, this this one is best of one and from the semifinals on, it's gonna be best of three. But yeah, this is C2 versus C7. So JJ in C2. Still looking very strong as well for him. He's that a very very good lead. Yeah, I mean, enormous lead. He needs to, he needs to do a lot of mistakes for Zion to catch up at the moment. Which you never know might happen in SSL, which is about to come up. There's a lot of stuff that could happen in this game. We've, we've already seen it from Zion, you know. It can happen to JJ too. On this okay. trick too, Pilolas. SSL. Here we go. And there we go, that's the first. That's not the worst thing that can happen, but he has one less backup now and he still has to get Pilalas too. Yeah. Okay, okay go he goes for the bird. Okay, so... Bouncing on it, but he should still be fine if he gets his jump. Alright, nice. Let's see the star. Fine. It's kind of scary though, like... <laughs> the more often you fail, the more nervous you become doing that spread. Yeah, absolutely. And now even like already having failed it once, it just makes it harder to get it. Let's see if you can get the sign. What? You no, see it again. A mistake. That's a huge opportunity for Zion to actually catch up if JJ is gonna keep having trouble. Like these mistakes aren't too big yet, but it can be even worse now. He's only got one more chance, like what do you think he will do if he misses it? I think he would just try to respawn the bomb. I doubt he would go for the shell. Yeah. So, uh, yeah let's see. Came out this time. Gets big bomb finally. This is a big plus. Okay, let's go. medium bomb. Ooh. And okay, here we go. Look, looking good though. Very yeah. nice. There is. Clutch tries the charm. Finally makes exactly. it happen. <laughs> exactly. But now Zion, let's see if we can get it for first try. And there's a big bomb already. Very good. No time off plus here. Just a comfy... Ooh! Drum pawn skip there at great. the end though. That was great. Really, really good ending. Exactly what Zion needed. And hopefully he can carry that kind of momentum. He's still quite far behind, but... If he keeps messing up these small things... Yeah. It can add up, dude. can. Yeah, not always. You don't always need mistakes for someone else to catch up. Yeah, 
uh, I think we saw that a lot in, uh, in the last match with Rogi. Even though, you know, we saw some mistakes, we was still, you know, going ham versus going safe. Definitely oh, definitely. He was, he was catching up so good uh, up until Tippy, where he died. But before that, he was flying out of his mind, I think. Very consistent and fast and all. Yeah. Except for TTM, maybe, but let's just forget that. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, like the the concept is still still there. Definitely. Alright, so Zion with a good pyramid star. Yeah, still a two star lead for JJ. It's pretty strong. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, JJ is still in a great position to get to the semifinals here. Very very good position. It's just kind of like if JJ is gonna keep this momentum, he and not mess up even more. Like um, I don't know. He might just play consistent enough, which and it will be hard for Zion to catch up like that if JJ doesn't make any more mistakes. I will have to see. Nice up, Bristo, coming in from Zion. Let's Not too bad. That was a nice tag up though. And here we go. Something good. Cool. Very no problems. See if Zion can do the same. On the same star, just uh, two oh, stars. Okay, that's fine. But uh, the grab was a little low on the poles. You had to gra uh, climb a little extra. Made up for it, at least it didn't fall down. Could have, could have easily happened. Yeah, definitely. And saving reds for later is uh, not that common. Honestly, at this point, I don't know what's common anymore. There's so many different <laughs> <true>. <laughs> different routes in Leaf Lava Land. Like, Maybe it's just for I... the more, more people that I watch. <laughs> Definitely. More regu I feel like regularly, you know, yeah. Maybe it's like all the old school people do reds first. <laughs> yeah, that might be the uh, case. Newcomers have their own kind of route. Yeah. JJ has the higher seed. Second place. Second worst is seven. And it's, it's, a, it's such a difference too. And you see it like JJ kind of running away with this lead at the moment. Not massive giving Zion any like, room to actually catch up a lot. Yeah, the only thing he did was the. Okay, good backup. Turning it around, ground pounding. Yeah, getting bullied a little bit, but he's got under control. Yeah, this. I don't know, this is still such a big gap. This is the quarterfinals of uh, the playoffs. Alright, so yeah, at see. the moment they're in the bracket. And this is a best of one race. So that's gonna be best of three. Let's see if we can see something. Okay, good. Decent chests coming out. No misses this far. White turn and ooh, gets really close to Vortex, not too bad though. Doesn't miss a swim or anything, just has to do a few more swims. Still fine. Sucked in. Definitely fine. And Zion is now done with LLL. Going JJ for already in his second DDD star, and these are fairly long stars as well, so... Yeah, I'd rather chill. And I don't think both of any of these runners go for front sub. Just gonna no. take the comfy back sub. Let's see of the camera, yeah, that's the back sub right there. It's easy to tell with the camera. Yeah, well, if anyone goes for like front sub they use C right instead of C left. Yeah. And JJ doing C left, so indicating he's going for the back sub. Or side sub, we've also seen side sub with uh, <laughs> Tama that kind of camera. Tama, <laughs> yeah. 
the only one. <laughs> yep. That is very true. And all right, it's Fire C for JJ. Oh, he's saving Manta for last. All right, before going upstairs. That was kind yeah. of interesting. Which doesn't really matter. To get... Yeah, definitely. Weird angle there, right? For JJ, it looks like his angles flew off for the long jumps. Oh, it's a... fine to me. Yeah. I mean, he, he got the wall kick, so that's what matters. Yeah, exactly. He's still in this. But he looks really sure far. Uh, the movement is there. now. It's hard to say if he's still gonna grab an easy, easy lava boost. Yeah, maybe he just goes for the. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna risk it. He's just gonna just go for the regular the, uh, Yeah. Maybe it's a good decision. Don't try to risk it and just uh, out of uh, early cycle. A little bit of <laughs> sketchy movement coming out, but. Should still grab a good ending if he gets wow. long jumps, should be fine. <laughs> nice. Barely like on these platforms, actually. Yeah, I like the kick. He got that red. It was beautiful. And yes. Some dust there from Zion, but that's basically possible to avoid with that lag. Man. JJ just playing way too consistent. I mean, he didn't really need that other boost early at least. It's, it's some time that Zang can make up, but it's just not that much at all. It's like 10 seconds at best. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's one step. <laughs> That's true. He needs a lot of them, but you know. You're gonna, gonna try your best at least. As we said in the last race, you won't, never want to give up. You never know what happens. Definitely. Just always play your best as you can. It's easy, I mean, one huge mistake in like TTC and it's like a minute plus, so. And we did see that before as well. Falling down, yeah. TTC 100. Such yeah. a big channel. Let's design here. Looking that angle looked off to me this time, but I was still fine. <laughs> Well, I like the way they grab the um, hangable ceiling in order to like set up for the red coin grab and just yeah. falling down. Absolutely. This looks good. good. And yeah, grabbing that lava boost earlier is saving around 10 seconds here. Oh, was like, JJ. If he grabs a good ending, of course, you never know. But not a good pace. He's looking confident. Oops. Ooh, but it gets burned and now that's not, the not good ending for him. It's a wrap. Still saving a little bit of time over JJ. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Okay, well. Okay, maybe not anymore. Maybe but... like a few seconds now, like one <laughs> yeah. or two. Unfortunate. He was really good, going really strong up until um, getting important for the first time. And JJ did yeah, not no. go for trip jump ball kick either. I was about to say the same, and <laughs> good though. And going up, going up for some safe elevator strats here. Yeah, some people will just go for walking right away and don't jump on the elevator at first. Yeah, JJ taking it easy. Yeah. Um, Zion finishing up, Fire C. And now the Wardard Wander coming up, and JJ already missing a coin. So if he misses any more, he needs to go for the backup box at the end. Yeah, bad RNG there. So let's see how the, the rest of the RNG is going to treat him. It's kind of insane how you have Wardard 100 and TTC 100, two quite heavy RNG <laughs> stars. Yeah. Uh, TTC 100 not as bad, ne not nearly as bad as Wardard 100, but still in there with the RNG factor. Definitely. But he has had a pretty bad RNG here so far, here in the, the star. Let's hope that the coin boxes will treat him better. That was good. Oh, there is. Yeah, those definitely treat you a lot nicer than the ones in the beginning. Ooh, was I missing a coin? Oh. Okay. So, also, not allowed to miss any more coins. That was a really awkward skeeter position. Very close to the flame sugar. Alright. 
he's uh, pulling it off pretty well. Here we go. That's got Jerry. That's a decent one drama on it. Yep. And Ant. Ooh, let's look at Ant again. Wallhawk's a little bit, but at least didn't get Ant again. Rest of one coin. <laughs> Oof, tried to get away. Just, just barely. <laughs> See. Going for the cannon to start here. Short and easy start. See if it's definitely not the intended way, but just gonna use that wob. Very mediocre RNG from the chuck. Oh, fire! Okay. okay, that was a big wow. boy jump. I will... That was quite <laughs> risky. Yeah. If, if you would have jumped early, awesome. yeah. While still being burned, you don't get the same kind of jump, so you would have fallen down if you jumped while burned. That was... Ballsy. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. And ballsy, as you said. And JJ finishing up here. And he's not really letting... He's not letting off, off much time here. Like, Zayn is really struggling to, uh, to gain time on JJ. Oh, for sure. That's just playing too consistent, and that drought was actually pretty, pretty clean from JJ. Yeah. That wasn't like crazy stress or anything, but just keeping it consistent and Zion had a little bit of trouble with Dragon 100. So yeah, already saving time over Zion and extending his lead, but DJ Secrets. Okay. Preparing him. Okay, nice. And will it clip? <laughs> yes. Makes it work somehow. Let's design. Go for the elevator. Will it be as safe as JJ? No. Ooh, no. Goes for the walkies right away. And... Oh, but doesn't get up there. I think that's that's the reason why JJ likes to go for yeah. like on the elevator at first and then the wall kicks. Yeah, so you get a better angle towards the yeah. plank. Yeah. Exactly. And makes it easier. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I think Zion... Oh my god, JJ! Oh my god! <laughs> what was that movement? And he falls oh all the way down. Oh no. Is he gonna back this up with red? Maybe. Oh. But he's failing the triple jump. He has to get up there first. And he's gonna he back it up with that. Okay, let's see if he knows the movement. Or if... Oh my god, that was already so sketchy. <laughs> uh, he was probably not prepared to do reds today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Still makes it happen though, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking like just land on the bridge and do the uh, reds instead. That was a really good move. Yeah. All right. That was yeah. uh, I mean a little sketchy in the beginning there, but you know it was still a very good backup. Smart. No, Zion can make up some good time. Already his THI secrets had a little bit of trouble swimming there, but I don't think he lost more time over That's JJ, but now, not a mistake. Oh, damn. That's also like JJ making sure to grab the fastest star first. Uh, I mean, instead of doing like the prana plants. Because, yeah, this is faster, like five seconds, I believe, than pluck the prana plants. So, yeah. JJ having these backups on deck. Wait, okay. He's... Um, oh wait, he's... Still okay. collecting it? I mean, uh, I'm actually not sure if any star's slower than this one, but... <laughs> might as well just grab the extra star, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure which one he's gonna, you know, trade it off with later, but... Yeah, same. Could be TD700, that's true, sex down, but we'll have to see. This is gonna be interesting though. I mean, you don't really see this too often. Yeah, I've never I've never seen this route before. <laughs> exactly. Crazy. That's the first. So let's see how big brain he is. <laughs> Alright, so. Here we go. Toadsar. And TTN. <laughs> You know, as you, as you mentioned, impossible to guess which stars they are going to do first nowadays. I feel like uh, most people like to star. go for the lock walk first, just to be safe. Yeah. 
Which I can get behind. Uh, you would have every backup open in case you fall down. You can just do any star. And oh, JJ already getting his first one. A little bit of a grind, but doesn't fall down. Hey, here we go. He's up. Here we go. It looks a lot closer now, but JJ still has that one star advantage over Zion. Yeah. See, will he get the log wall kicks? Is he looking good? Yeah, Ooh, no problem. Okay. okay, I guess he kick himself up. It's actually quite a big time loss as well. Okay, yeah. that. And JJ getting his second one. Bongs, but... Walking. Not too bad. Yeah. Oof, okay. <laughs> Considering his lead, you can definitely take one of those. Oh yeah. I mean, he's, he shouldn't be worried. I'm not sure if he knows where he is compared to Zyme, but yeah, he should definitely not be worried so far. Just, you know, keep playing consistently. And do those kind of weird backups that I <laughs> have never seen in a race before. <laughs> exactly. Grabbing uh, an extra star <laughs> in TGI. It is interesting. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see who in chat who has the right answer. If he skips, DC... what TC... Yeah, TC100 definitely seems like the kind of star you would want to skip out because it's yeah. such a long star. They were talking about uh, Christmas Miracle 1, I think. 2. Yeah, that could also be skipped, true. I, I actually honestly don't know what the best choice would, would be. But TC100 is also like kind of a lot harder than Christmas Miracle. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, JJ missing the punch. Has to Going for the backup. Himself. Yeah, no problem. Good move. Like, um, sli even just slightly messing up the box grab can also have been death. So going for the wall bounce instead was a good one. Yeah. And breezeless, he won't go for it. <laughs> She's going for the breeze. We actually did see two breezes in the last race as well. Yeah, like, super hyper head, like the weirdest one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so, I don't think we'll ever see that again, at least not too soon. Like, was he even inside the mountain at any point? He just was no, outside at the all. Like, at, the, at the last possible frame, I think he clipped, and I don't know. Oh. That's so weird. That was weird. You should look back on that. So see Zion, will he go for it? No. Ooh, and JJ missing up. Yeah, I'm missing up the position. Taking a lot of time getting up here, but finally makes it happen. And yeah. still messing up, you're gonna have to go for the backup wall kick. Yeah, pretty big time loss, honestly. Here we go. Pretty big time loss. But yeah, it's also it's weird because like, creeping up. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, he still has that weird extra star from THI. <laughs> uh, so we don't really know what he's gonna do with that. Yeah, we have no Let's idea see. when the routes are gonna convert again. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Zion with a great snowman's head, saving a lot of time on JJ. Who else today? <laughs> These small mistakes coming up from JJ now. Maybe he knows and he's nervous. I mean, uh, grabbing an extra star in THI would have thrown me off a little bit. Like, <laughs> or it kind of slows your momentum or, or like kills your momentum, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it should be any, like anything, confusing. Yeah, exactly. Anything that's uh, like slightly different throws off your muscle memory, I would say. And yeah, and also like, you know, looking at the star count is like, oh, I should go here at 52 stars. Like, no, you should go there at 53. Yeah, so. I imagine, like, because of muscle memory, JJ now skips out on the fastest star in this category. <laughs> That'll be weird. But nah, he's good. <laughs> he's still thinking, not just going auto mode. It's happening. Going big brain. <laughs> big brain mode. Yeah, now into HMC. So he's gonna lead, and then Zion is pretty close to. Misses the slide or the bounce of the bully. 
the right out of the bully. Yeah, didn't cause him that much up. Okay, JJ. Will he do all stars in uh, here? Can you see? Go for the dive. Yeah, so a possible skip could be Christmas Miracle for sure, but we'll have to see. Yeah. But I do think that Zayn is caught up. Like, I mean, not caught up, but like he has been uh, getting a lot of time back on JG. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it seems like he's getting closer and closer by the second. Yeah. JJ, when he was going for the top of the mountain star, he fell down. And, and he had uh, an eye. Yeah, so he fell down to the beach part, and then he decided to go for um, THI reds instead. Uh, and we thought that he would trade it off with the piranha plants, but he actually got the rest of the stars to THI. So we don't really know which star he's gonna, you know, trade it off with. Honestly, I would love to see him not do T at TDC100. Just because you never, like nowadays, you don't see the um, the Thwom star without TDC100. You always see it with it. So that movement is also, is also kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Getting that star without TDC100. It's gonna be interesting to see if he has practiced it in a long time. Yeah. And he goes for Christmas Miracle, so we're probably not gonna see TDC100. Ooh. Messes up that I you can get this with a ground pound on the switch, but he's not gonna bother. He's gonna do the other backup. Alright. It seems like he's gonna skip THI uh, uh, TTC one hundred. Yeah, I feel like I feel like that as well. It's not very unless maybe he suddenly doesn't feel like doing lucky to bounce anymore. I mean that could also be a case if you, yeah, I nah, mean that's too hard. <laughs> I mean it's not a, it's not the, the worst idea, you know. I mean, he would lose yeah, time on it, obviously. Like... But yeah, I mean, that's a really risky star if you do it wrong, you know. So yeah, very interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, Chad also, thinks this also get the toad star. Yeah, this is also makes it hard to say what kind of pace JJ is on. I think he could still get like a. Low 50, but I'm actually not too sure. Yeah. You'll see. <laughs> All we know is that his lead we're is good. We're up for surprises in here. Oh yeah. This is, this race has been good. I mean, even though JJ has been in a big lead all the time, a lot of interesting stuff has happened. So. Exactly, and he still like, keeps making these small mistakes on boulders as well. Uh, giving Zane a little bit of, uh, a little opportunity to still catch up slowly. Yeah. And he was down by like what 90 seconds at some point. Yeah. That's in insane. A minute and a half. So yeah, they are <laughs> one star apart, and it's uh. THI Reds. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. It still sounds so weird. Yeah. No. yeah. Um, Alright, so let's see. Will he skip Lockitoo Bounce? No, I don't think so. I think he's good on Lockitoo Bounce, honestly. Yeah, right, here yeah. we go. Lockitoo Bounce. You, you imagine if he dies here. No. He, okay. He was, he was way too, like, he's way too confident. He yeah, but was Lakito also that. was so far away, so the way he grabbed that still, the bounce, was very nice. Oh, what falls He's falling all the down. way down! Whoa, okay. And now, maybe we're still gonna see the decision of him not going for Lakito to bounce. I'm on Zane, making it happen already. <laughs> wow. And yeah, he's right. got it, like... That's wow, okay. Over this JJ. Is... Wow, this is getting really close now. I still can't really cl uh, tell how big the gap is, but... <laughs> no. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, maybe we're gonna see the same star count after Amber Ride, but I think JJ is still gonna opt for Lucky to bounce here. Yep, seems like it. Here we go. Zion. He fails it again. 
But we do know that he can, he can he can just you know ignore Ooh, so it if he wants. So much spaghetti coming out right now is as well. Okay. That's an interesting way to go around there. Yeah, he went for the same strat twice, getting it the second time. I like that when you bounce, you know, you don't wall kick there, just and fall down. But yeah, uh, JJ, JJ could still decide to not go for lucky the bounce here, and he yeah. doesn't. He just decides to not to. <laughs> that is so, so good. I really like that though. Definitely, after f falling down twice, and he's still got a really good lead now. Even yeah. With that. So yeah, exactly. Now he just he's just like, um, now nah, let's just do TTC 100 instead. He'd... Hopefully that doesn't go that wrong though. <laughs> Here we go. Look at I this. mean, you get every star. Yeah, but still, I mean, he just skipped lucky to bounce because he had grabbed more star than he needed to. A... I mean, that, that, I think it's a good decision. I mean, he failed it twice, didn't feel confident, and he he had the opportunity to skip, so he did. Yeah, and most of the time runners can't really do that because they don't have that extra star, so they just have to go. They just have to go with the meltdown. Yeah, it's like actually luxury. <laughs> <laughs> luxury, yeah. And it's okay, Zion. Oof, that was wow. Smart. That dive, yeah, that dive was really good. All right, good backup. Getting Oof. stuck on that platform and then immediately jumping off. That was so good. Yeah. All right, JJ, no problems. Get a hand. Yes, he does. But yeah, just because of those mistakes, this got a whole lot closer. <laughs> Definitely. Nice. But unfortunately, it's best out of one, so... Zion still needs a miracle here. It can still happen. I believe in miracles, in TTT at least, and bits as well. As we saw in the previous race, <laughs> I still want to recall on that because that was actually nutty. Yeah, it was crazy. And Drogi in chat, he knows how crazy that was. You can see his reaction in the cam. <laughs> well, I'm moving along very nice on this T100. Oh yeah, looking really good. And both grabbing the extra red as well, so in case RNG goes wrong, they can just dip and don't have to go after coins. Yeah. Which is really nice, of course. Oof. And he gets invisible. Does he know the backup well? It's looking good. Very nice. You don't need don't to... Cover the coin. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> you wanted to go for it first. Yeah. <laughs> JJ, okay, oh my god, I, I was so scared he was gonna fall down even further because he jumped, like, away from the platform. But he's good, not too bad. Scary. Alright, he's good. So, maybe he's... falling apart a little bit, also that RNG. <laughs> I mean, that RNG, I, honestly, that RNG wasn't too bad, but he just didn't jump into the coins. Yeah. You see this? He's doing the wall kicks. Ooh. Alright, he's up. He has the stars. Still ahead, still ahead by two stars, but two quick ones in that. It's getting closer and closer, but Zion also not free of this. He has to get up somehow. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> this was actually this would actually be a pretty huge upset if Zion would actually would take this back. Yeah, but I mean, we are really close to the end now. It That's would true. be very surprising with with three stars to go, you know, to lose this amount of time. But you, you never know. Considering how big the lead was, though, Zan is made up so much time. Kind of, yeah. Kind of nice. You see, and Failing. JJ as well messing up again. See, is it actually gonna happen? I'm like, it's so close now. This and Zion getting it. So yeah, just one moving bars ahead, and the thing, almost thing, into the star. All right. And both of them didn't go. For, like neither of them go went for Toad. So yeah, just one moving bars apart. JJ only needs reds and. 
So I'm still this resin moving bars. I guess this is still quite comfy for JJ if he doesn't go all in in bits, he could take this on. Yeah. But yeah, even more going for left side, for example. I went for first E, and then I went for the wall kick inside of the cage. But yeah, now JJ. JJ going for his Toadstar, now bits. This is like 30 seconds, I believe. Not yeah. too bad. Not too much. We saw in the last race where when uh, he's trying to do some crazy strats here. Okay. All right. Succeeded. <laughs> Succeeded on crazy backups. Let's go. But falls all the way down because of a no. ball. Saw that a mile away. Just giving JJ a little bit more time for this. So in case he falls down, he should still be good. Going safe on the purple jump. So far, it's yeah. very far coming up though. Does he decide to go for the left side? And he does. And the left side. He was not That's the first. Bonk his head, and then just right. decides not to. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He said, for sure. Got I mean, no need to stress it. He knows that he's far ahead. Might as well go safe there. Oh, definitely. And just three throws. And he's got it. He can miss like three, maybe, and then the Zion will be back. He's got some time to spare. Let's see. That's the first. And the second. One more throw, and... There is. That's... There is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was expecting a choke, but... GG's to JJ. <laughs> Keeping it together until the end. A lot of slip-ups and tippy, but he's got it. Interesting route, I gotta say. Great <laughs> knock to bounce. For THI Reds. But yeah, but... good stuff. Advancing to semi-finals to face Drogi. I mean, an interesting match. Zion not throwing him far enough. But yeah. I definitely feel like JJ didn't play his best. He, I think he's a lot more consistent than this. So, right, it's gonna be interesting semi-finals against Rogi, I feel like. Yeah, but I think it's a bit shameful for Zion because I think he he played decently for sure. It's just that his beginning was extremely rough. Like, oh, missed sure. bomb clip a few times, being like 30 seconds behind right off the bat, and then dying at the end of Dark World, and you know, being like a minute and a half behind already from after Dark World. I mean, yeah. Yeah, from the beginning on. But he made. He kept caught up pretty good until then, but unfortunately, his DJ just too consistent to throw away that lead. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for this race. No interviews. Thank you so much for coming with me, guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Glad you joined. And uh, congrats to JJ on uh, advancing to the next round. Exactly. And we got one more quarterfinals match to go. Coming right up is Blue Bob versus Sextel, commentated by Yale and Rock Chog. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're going to enjoy the next one as well. Yeah. And uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.